All right, this is comparison of, well, this is a 2013 EXL V6 and a 2014 EX. So we'll just see what the difference is. Like you saw before, you got the single exhaust and this one has the four cylinder with the CVT and this one has the 270 some horsepower V6 with the uh, standard transmission in it. Well, not a standard, but a regular shifting. So we'll just go back and forth here real quick. Actually, maybe we'll just start them. And of course you have your, your slow boot up still. This one now has, what's it got? 16,000 miles on it. So, in the EXL with nav, of course you get the nav. We'll go through the phone menu. No. No, it doesn't want to. Info, you got your trip computer and all that standard. That was a short trip. Uh, here's an update, by the way. Still getting 28, 29 miles of the gallon, 400 miles of the tank, going to work and back. So this one is the touch screen with the source. You know, it's got a hard drive, USB, iPod. DVD, Bluetooth, Pandora, AHA, and an AUX. We'll see what the other one does. I haven't even looked at it yet, but uh, my parents actually just picked up their EX, so I wanted to do a comparison here. Uh, we go into settings. So here's the standard setting menu. And of course, we've already been we've already been through all those, and we've got the. Let's get out of here. So we have the side camera, of course. This one has lane departure warning, the econ button, and this has the forward collision warning light up there. Not really a heads up display. Uh, we'll do the steering wheel. And of course, this one's all leather and whatnot. So since this is the V6, it gets active noise cancellation, which you have the speakers in the cabin that apparently it puts out some uh, bass to cancel out the noise, I don't know. Okay, now we'll hit the other one. This one has the two memories and power everything. And this one's pretty dirty and used here. Okay, we'll so what I was surprised one. to see, the EX does have the the uh, keyless entry and button, so that's pretty much worth it. It's got same power. It doesn't have memory seats, although it does have power seats. Okay. So we'll see what this one does. Of course it has the sunroof. They've got the fabric interior. It's nice, I mean it's Honda, right? The seats are all firm. I wonder if, well, so there's a speaker in that ceiling, or a speaker, microphone. Wonder if that, uh, if they're just in all of them and they only plug them in or use it maybe for the six bangers. So you don't get lane departure warning and you don't get uh, forward collision warning. The steering wheel looks the same, same buttons. Now here's the dash, so where that touch screen was. Of course you still get dual zone automatic climate control. But let's go here, so display. Oh, so this looks like a, yeah, so it's got nearly the same trip computer. You just don't have the multi-function knob. It's only two, two. spin and push. Let's see what it's got. Oh, you're not plugged in auxiliary. 
So down here on the six cylinder, uh, so you get a USB, but you don't get an auxiliary in here. Maybe you get it in the glove box. Nope. So you don't have an eighth inch jack in, but I guess who really uses that anyway? You get storage here where you don't on mine. CD, FM, AM, I guess this all looks the same. But <laughs> look at the difference here though. 37 miles of the gallon. Of course they did just come on a big freeway trip. And getting that, it has 541 miles on it. And uh, yeah, they didn't, they listened to the dealer and they just took it on the freeway for, for eight hours uh, and probably set the cruise control the whole way. Oh, look, here's Ox in. Okay, there they do have an eighth inch jack in. So I guess you do lose a lot of functionality without the nav and all the other buttons. Let's see what the settings look like. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, and you can cycle through them with this button like the others. Oh, wait a minute. So, you get the side camera, of course, and you should still get the same backup camera. Does it turn? Yeah, it turns. Actually, that's a better view. Maybe I need to adjust. Maybe I need to adjust my view. Because you can change it wide, narrow, whatever. Uh, let's see what the old settings say here. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's still got the terrible sound settings that mine does. Vehicle, so uh, this is about the same. Maintenance reset, door locking, unlocking. It's just. Can we go to just menu? Oh, history, clock, you put your wallpaper in there with a USB. Okay, yeah, you do lose quite a bit, but if you you just put a TomTom -tom in there and you're good. All right, any uh, questions? We'll go and walk around this, but any questions, just shoot an email. <laughs> one.